loneliness and storms and drugs I would still carry on You may wait for me Because I've done all that before. Well, we're at the last day of Bloomsburg Side Festival today, but Monica, hasn't it been a fantastic weekend? It's been really lovely. Lovely Everyone's Katie. enjoyed it. Yeah. It's lots of work, but it's worth it. It is worth it, isn't it? I must say, we always enjoy it here, and in particular the farmer's market, which brings us why I'm talking to Monica here, because this creation behind us is a result of Monica's hard work. How on earth did you get into making gazebos, Monica? Well, it started with Henry's wedding, having a Moroccan theme, Henry and Cheryl. Yeah. And I thought the only way I'm going to have a Moroccan tent is if I make one. So we, I looked at it, a gazebo, and I've made it with as much recycled fabric as I can. Yeah. And the reaction I got was lovely. People, other people wanted them. So I've made them for a couple of people, and then I'm going to make one for a wedding and that's maybe the turning point to making them a little bit more wow. so it, the wedding is really lovely because it's going to be white with a green and gold theme and maybe flowers on the outside and the reaction today is lovely people who want to have weddings outside yes um might like something very personal so yeah no i'm sure well, thank you me. very That's much no thanks for talking to us it's great and I, and I hope you know the wedding thing goes okay you've made one for maureen the hedgehog lady haven't yes, you yes i have and we put hedgehogs on each corner <laughs> So uh, each one is entirely personal. Yeah. And I've done one for a lady in Leverage, and she had all sorts of things on there. So yeah. this is what you want. Oh, no, that's great. Well, we've got to see Maureen in a day or two, so we'll look out for that gazebo. Thank Thanks, Monica. Yeah, thank Surely coming The bells are being told This race is really running Clean out of all control Beyond the edge of a reason Here where the ice is thin Dance of treason on blades of fire. We spin no account, some car. Whatever have we done? What Sacred web we erected We broke the secret heart Now is our sun is sinking So the seas they must surely rise Today's the blood we're drinking That drains tomorrow dry Whatever have we done? What comes to come? Can you tell me where does this race? Where does this race from? Uh -huh. What comes? Come
of Captain Groovies who sell a fantastic range of t-shirts and um, you've been here for the last three years here. Yeah? That's right this is the third year we've been here and it's been great again as uh, it always is yeah. Yeah I mean Alan bought a t-shirt the other you know the like what's it seven percent certain ninety percent proof or something with like that. a picture of Einstein on. Yeah, that's, that's the right. one yeah but I think this time is going for I'm not the messiah I'm a very naughty boy I just love that saying it's great but you got t-shirts just about everything on the you? Well, we sort of specialise in blokes with beards who like to drink cider, really, is, uh, <laughs> well, is a good line for us. We do quite a good range of cider t-shirts, yeah. which is why we decided to come here in the first place. And, yeah. Uh, well, I saw a football head down there, so you must have a cider head uh, t-shirt. There, there is a cider, we had one there. Yeah, which was uh, the original one, yes, and then we yeah. did a, we did a hop head one for a while for people that prefer beer rather than cider. Yeah, and uh, we did a football head one as well. On That's the great. Way. But do you, do you make them to order, or do you just? Yeah, we can uh, we can make, we make them to order. We can do one offs and. Uh, uh, if people don't find exactly the right size or colour, then we then you could, do the we could, we can, uh, yeah. Yeah, do them to order. Ah, you're Spartacus, because there's one up there that says I'm not Spartacus, it's a bloke over there with the dimpled chin, that must be well, you. Well, I have, I have one of those as well, depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, if I'm in denial, I'm not Spartacus. If I'm feeling a bit more uh, up for it, then I am Spartacus. The, and you're Spartacus today. Well, thanks ever so much for talking to us, Rich, and I'm glad you've had a successful weekend. Okay, well, it's been great again. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Well, we're still at Broom Farm at the moment and I'm talking to one of the bridge stove spinners, um, Pat. Um, Pat. This looks really, I've always been fascinated by the spinning wheel, but can you just sort of like explain how it works? I mean, I know you've got the fleece there and you're... I have, I've got the fleece in my hand. This is um, this is raw fleece, un completely unwashed. All I've done is just card it, which is brushing it all into one way. Um, I like to spin in the, in the grease is the technique term yeah um, wonderful lamelin on your hands yeah and then I wash it when I when it's spun into a hang then I wash it um, it's local local fleece this is um, blue faced Leicester which is one of my favorites it's very soft yeah um, fleeces are quite easy to come by nowadays because sadly the farmers don't get any money for them when they take them to the wool marketing board no so um, so it's not difficult to get fleeces, but I no. I do spin alpaca quite a lot as well. Say, broom farm broom, alpaca. Broom farm alpaca. Yes, wow. I certainly do. Um, yes, I have. I've been doing some earlier on this morning. Some broom farm. Yes, alpaca, and I am spinning it thick and lumpy um, yeah. because I want to a bit of texture. Yeah. Um, I don't want fine, smooth yarn. You can go to the shop and buy that. Yes. I want yeah. something with a bit more character to it, so that's yeah. what I'm doing here, yes. Whatever happens. 